What are your closing thoughts on Tumbleweed? Yeah, I guess we should do a revisit of that, too. I know I, I was promising to get started on one util, but I'll, I'll get started here in a minute. Um, Open Sousa was good. I would put it in... Oh, I mean, I don't want to... I, I, I like the project, and it was unique enough. And I like the fact that it used RPM packages, which is exactly like almost every Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, stuff all uses RPMs. So it was really nice having that alternative with OpenSUSE. And OpenSUSE is like its own branch. I think originally it was branched off of Slackware, but it's kind of like its own thing now. It was nice. Would I use it on a daily? No, but I thought it was a, a, a good distribution. I still think Arch is um, kind of my favorite compared to Tumbleweed. Uh, where Tumbleweed's, you know, rolling release, but it, it treated me okay. It, it wasn't too bad. Uh, Open Sousa, I would say, probably top 10, you know, towards the bottom of the top 10, but I'd still put it in a top 10 for distros. Uh, I didn't, uh, I, I, I ran it for almost a good month here. Yeah, but it's been, it was, it was very easy to install, very intuitive installer. Uh, I didn't have any issues, really. So I don't really have any complaints about it. Top three. <laughs> uh, my top three would probably be... It's hard to say... It's hard to order... It would be just like a tier list. Uh, I think we still have my tier list out. Do, was there anything I'd change in that? We're going to do a slight detour. Linux, tier list. What did we have? So yeah. Arch and Debian were the top of the tops. I loved that. Was there anything I'd change in here? Um, no. Best for business. Open Susan was already kind of there. So was Nix. Alma, Alpine. Amazing for new users. I put ah, Zorin. I mean, I don't know about that. Zorin, I probably would. I'd probably remove that. I would just go Kubuntu, Linux Mint, Numbara. That's always going to treat new users pretty darn good out of the box. I'd probably put those three. I don't know why Zorin at the day. So I'd probably kick that to like pointless for Zorin. Um, man, no, I kind of agree with my tier list. There's not much I'd change here. <laughs> as much flack as this got me. If anything, I'd just piss off the Zorin community a little more and kick it into the pointless tier as well. Um, yeah, that's the only change I'd make. <laughs> so <laughs> just... <laughs> Yeah, just my thoughts. Now you need to build Gentoo and Nix on OpenRC. <laughs> Gonna be kind of a lot of fun. Yeah, I could. That'd be fun. I'd be okay with that. Pick the last of the top three. I mean, obviously, Arch Debian. That's like a de facto number one and number two. I just love being on either one of those. Um, <laughs> number three kind of want to pick something unique so it'd probably be nix nix os would be my number three because nix was just so much fun to repro reproduce 100 percent. puppy linux deserves higher on the line i probably I, it's just debian has gotten so good in the past couple years that it's like hard for me to recommend any kind of derivative of debian that's not debian it's hard for me to use anything that's not Debian that's a derivative of it. Yeah, look, I mean, I guess we could order it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go, let's go. Number one, Debian. Number two, Arch. Number three would be Nix. Number four would probably be... This is where it starts getting hard. Mm. Number four... Man... That's a rough one. Maybe I, I hate to pick Nabarro, but I'd probably pick number four for Nabarro just for like the gaming crowd out there. Um five, probably open Sousa. Six. Man, I, I just hate to I, I want to grab one of the lightweight ones, even though I never really use them. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put those at number six, just because like I would just use a dark, uh, Debian or Arch and just kind of have a minimal install. Um, six would probably be... I mean, I've really... Ardix has been fun. I've really enjoyed Ardix 
which is what my main system here is, which I'm dual booting. Um, MX used to be really good. It was a great Debian based distro when, De when base Debian kind of shipped terrible, um, before they started including like non-free or it was really hard to find non-free. So that's why, uh, why do you consider Endeavor pointless? Uh, Endeavor OS is, is an Arch based distro and why not just install Arch and just theme it out with the packages you need. Same with Garuda. You know, the same same thing. And like most people gave me flack about like Kali and Parrot, you know, both security researcher based things. But, you know, most security researchers that are worth their salt already know Debian and they're going to install the tools they need. They don't want this giant bloated mess. And, and like Kali has like all these gimmicky options added to it, like Windows mode and other other crap that no one really cares about. So pointless. Um I, when I say pointless, pointless for me as a user, not for everybody. For someone that doesn't know anything, uh, obviously they're going to need a starting point and, you know, they don't know what packages they need. So like a Kali or a Parrot might make sense for someone that doesn't know anything. But for someone that does, you're going to want just like a Debian and then just grab the packages yourself and then just say, here's my system with the base and, and I'm ready to go. Devil tier, <laughs> those are just company-based distros that have done some anti-consumer things that are kind of in the man. I don't. I would just. They're they're not necessarily bad distros. They're just distros I would like to avoid because their future's uncertain. So that's kind of where I am at. <clears throat> Puppy Linux runs from RAM. <laughs> well, I need I need to look at. Uh, puppy a little more too i obviously we're not daily driving that it's like daily driving tails or some crap but no so yeah that, that's my that's kind of where i'm at so probably the top six is pretty easy for me to do and then when it gets to seven then it just gets kind of weird because we get to a point where i'm starting to just do stuff for videos or something like that i wouldn't really use anything past those top six but I mean, I could still use any of the distros. I would just strip out everything and then just install my stuff. So that's kind of where my thoughts are on the, the old revisiting of the Linux distro.